Welcome to this demonstration of RootSheet, software for documenting root sets on indoor climbing walls. RootSheet is free software and runs on Windows or Mac and uses Microsoft Silverlight to run inside a browser or as a desktop application. Before you can use RootSheet you will need to install Silverlight version 5 which you can do by clicking the link on screen now. Once Silverlight 5 is installed, you can visit the RootSheet page at www.ivencia.com forward slash RootSheet and the application will open up in a browser. To run it as a desktop application, you can right click with your mouse in any blank area outside the grid. The safest place is here beneath the grade conversion table, but as you can see when I right click here, the pop-up opens outside the window I'm recording. So for now, I'll right click a blank area to the right of the menu. I install the software by clicking the second option here and there it is installed and running as a desktop application. Now let's see how to use it. To get started you are given four routes by default and I'll use these as a demonstration but once you're familiar with the software when it loads up select clear in the menu to get a blank page. The most obvious way to enter routes is by typing them in. So here we go. On the main wall, panel 5, Nigel set a yellow, which is 6A, and has a sit start. Without the arete, it's about 7A. And if you choose, you can enter all of your routes that way, but there are some shortcuts to avoid too much typing. In the rightmost column is a copy to checkbox. If you select one or more of these checkboxes, and then right click on any entry, it will copy that entry into its corresponding column in all the check rows. This feature allows you to quickly select the information for a route without too much typing. First I'll add a few rows by hitting Ctrl A on the keyboard a few times and then click the copy to checkboxes for the added rows which will represent routes I've set on the main wall. Then I right click main wall and Nigel. I'll then go back into the copy to column and deselect all but the first route by clicking once more on the checkboxes. I right click in the colour column to set the colour and then right click in the font grade column to set the grade. For the second route I have no information above so type in the colour pink blue and the grade 6A. Grades are automatically converted but as there are more font than V grades the translation from font to V will always be more accurate than the other way around. As with all software keep saving as you go by clicking the save dialog when the set list is complete, tidy up the rows by clicking on Remove All Blank Rows here in the menu and do a final save. All of the column headers can be clicked at any time to sort the column, so I can sort by colour, feature, panel or grade. Clicking twice will sort the column in ascending or descending order and the columns can be resized by dragging the joins in the table header. If the table is wider than the screen then a horizontal scroll bar will appear at the bottom. Similarly a vertical scroll bar will appear when there are more rows than can be displayed. To export the information to a spreadsheet for further processing or printing, click copy to clipboard in the menu and open up your spreadsheet. Then click the top left row in the spreadsheet and click edit paste or do a control V on the keyboard to paste in the information. Thanks for watching, this is an early release of the software so if you have any comments or would like any other features please contact me by email on nigel at ivencia.com